Hello, glad you could join me. Today I'll be reviewing the Pro Art Ron Ranson set of four watercolour hake brushes. Um, small, um, medium, um, large and extra large. Um, you can buy them as a set, I think at the moment um, I think it's Curtis, yeah, Curtis Ward in the UK has a special offer on at the moment for them. Um, and they're quite a good price. And you can get them for a reasonable price on eBay as a set of four. Um, <coughs> this, this is the large um, Ron Ranson the Hake, and this is the extra large. You can see the difference. Uh, Ron Ranson, who introduced the Hake brush um, into mainstream painting, um, and was such a wonderful loose painter. Here he is in a photograph from my collection. Um, he used the large hake, that was his favourite. I think slightly later in his career he began to use the medium hake too, um, as far as I know. Um, this photograph is one that came with uh, an original painting of Ron's that I'm lucky enough to own and I'll be using it in a minute to demonstrate and show you um, how Ron used the hake to create the beautiful, clean and clear transparent marks in his watercolour paintings. Right, the hakes are unwrapped. Um, they're all quite long and big. They're sort of about 8 inches long. That's uh, 30 centimetres, I think. Um, which gives you a lot of uh, movement and flexibility when you're painting uh, the length of the brush. Um, comparing the new one with my old one, you can see how the ends relax down a little bit, but can retain a nice chiselled edge if you if you're careful with them, um, which can give you an incredibly versatile range of brush strokes and marks that you can make very very simply and cleanly without too much fuss. <coughs> Excuse me. Now here's my. Ron Ranson original watercolour painting that I was lucky enough to find um, online at a very very good price. It's one of my treasured possessions and it's a, a really really beautiful painting. Um, and here I'm just going to hover the hake brush, the large hake, over the painting in places like here in the sky just to show you how easy it is to get these, to make these marks as long as you've got the right thickness of paint and and water and moisture in the paper. The hake is incredibly versatile. I mean here for the distant trees, and you can see the shape is literally just using the corner of the hake to make that sort of triangular shape. And of course that gives us the impression of trees without too much fuss and detail. The viewer just really enjoys um, seeing this and here on this tree, this slightly more closer tree, um, with thicker paint, the very, very corner of the brush has been used just to tip in, again, little sort of triangular strokes which indicate um, all the different canopies and clumps of the tree beautifully and simply. Um, the tree trunks you can see using the chisel edge of the hake just loosely indicated and the chisel edge can do even finer work like you can see here it's the perfect fit for these lines that Ron has painted around the bridge and across the bridge three lines I think um, across the top um, with the chisel edge I mean, the Hake is an incredibly versatile brush. Um, it could be a bit tricky to get used to it to start with because it holds an awful lot of water. But once you get used to it and find out how versatile it is and the different strokes and brush strokes, lines, uh, marks that you can make, it's an incredibly wonderful tool for painting with watercolour. Right, let's look at uh, three of my paintings that I've painted almost exclusively with the Hake brush. Um, this one of um, a path near Cookmere Haven, 
um, it's just mostly a wet into wet painting using the large hake um, exclusively just to make the marks of the distant trees and then using the chisel edge for the river banks. Simple as that really. Um, this painting here of Lansing College I use the medium hake, the small hake, um, the large and the extra large. In fact I used all four here just to try and get the soft washes, the different marks, the stronger sky. Um, the dry brush across the foreground but also using the small hake damp and clean just to clean up edges and to sort of lift out small amounts around the sky. Again this one here I think was almost entirely done with the extra large hake in order to keep it very light and very very fresh um, and then just put some rigor work detail on the top. I mean, I think as you can tell, I love the hake brushes. I really enjoy them. I think the Pro Art hake brushes are the best because they're Ron Ranson's design, which means you get them to a chiselled edge. So not only are they versatile for as wash brushes, they're wonderful for detail brushes too. And let's just have a nice last look at Ron's beautiful painting. Just you, me, and the cat. Thank you for watching, and I hope you don't mind. The cat seems to like interrupting me towards the end of these videos. Please like and subscribe, give us a thumbs up. It really helps with my reach. But I hope you enjoyed um, this hake brush review and seeing a little bit of how I think and imagine Ron Ranson painted one of his beautiful original artworks. Bye, see you soon.